Okay, uh, let's go to Kabul now, where Mustafa Kazemi from the Hash Desorb Daily Newspaper uh, joins us. Um, thanks very much, Mustafa, jo for joining us here on the program. Senator McCain was also seen as a friend of Afghanistan. Absolutely. When he advocated for throughout his uh, trips, his prisons, his absence, whatever deal there was Afghanistan involved in, and Senator McCain had an impression everybody started to know that that he was a close friend of Afghanistan one of the main things that people are going to remember him for a very very long time actually go into the history books is that McCain came to Afghanistan far more frequently than any other American politician in the history except the ambassador who's the uh, uh, residing here but apart from that the three Republicans led by Senator McCain they were personally concerned with what was happening in Afghanistan and up until he passed away his efforts even from bed from hospital bed when he met people from Afghanistan politicians he used to express his sympathies and uh, his concerns about what is happening in Afghanistan and what needs to be done precisely and the reason he would do that is because he would often say that I want to see for myself what's actually happening on the ground and what our policies mean in Afghanistan well, people are starting to value what Senator McCain wanted and believed in and was sort of fighting for in Afghanistan. Now, far more than when he was doing it practically here on the ground, because there were so many conflicting uh, uh, ideas and concepts that he's probably doing it for some sort of American interest in here. But all of that apart, even if there was an American uh, per policy, there sure is an American interest in here. But he was fighting it the way uh, for an American, very abnormal, very special to fight, to stand, to, to be against your country waging a war outside. You, of course, don't want your resources wasted, your uh, human resources uh, uh, getting wasted every day, soldiers going into death just because of probably wrong, very, very wrong uh, political policies. But he was uh, involving himself in everything personally. He had so many fracas with the former President Ahmed Karzai, and uh, we used to think that probably it is because over uh, uh, some uh, disagreements, some political disagreement. But it was for things that now, after he passed away, we know that he was doing it for our good. When he said he was a friend of Afghanistan, he truly meant it, and we're seeing that now. He was also um, a fierce, fierce critic of the Obama policy to draw down troops from Afghanistan and then ultimately, uh, you know, signal 2014 as, as the period of withdrawal. What Senator McCain advocated was an end to the military intervention, to the war, but not within a, uh, I would say, an absolute frame. He wanted it gradually. What he was advocating and always uh, putting a lot of impression on it to us, the reporters back the times that he used to visit Afghanistan, he used to say the war has to end someday. And if we don't make that happen, if we don't create that someday and make today that someday, nobody else is going to do that. He was advocating for peace talks and negotiations and more. Uh, one word I would directly quote from him, he used to say uh, off the record, to the reporters that we want a more civilized way to solve the Afghan problem and we have that why are we not using it he used to be critical of that of a sudden withdrawal from Afghanistan but what he was actually advocating was that this withdrawal of troops needs to be done in a systematic manner that should not create a vacuum once the forces are uh, withdrawn from Afghanistan indeed uh, Mustafa Kazemi joining us there from Kabul thank you so much for sharing your